handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from Saratoga Racecourse here on Friday it is the 5th of August 2022 gonna look the stakes races on the program from Saratoga but before I get on to that remember to please follow me on Twitter at horse racing kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world and I mean it around the world let's look at the stakes action from the spa of races 8 9 an excellent car today the eighth race it's the National Museum of Racing Hall of Fame stakes it's a great two event going for a of two hundred thousand dollars this race is for three-year-olds here we have nine horses heading to the inner turf course here the distance of ground of 1600 meters or the distance of ground of one mile on the saratoga inner turf course 1600 meters one mile here in the hall of fame my top selection i'm gonna go take the number six horse who is ready to perform let's go six seven four one in the superfecta six seven four one super top selection six horse ready to perform three-year-old colt by kittens joy brad cox trains joel rosario gets the mount the horse's most recent out came the fourth of july at Sarah, at uh, belmont one mile in the manilio stakes and the horse finished third by three and three quarter lengths that day he had a bit of a troubled trip he didn't break so well he got bumped a few times was stupidly wide you know, he closed up a little bit late, but it wasn't anything spectacular. With a better trip on this turf course, I think he could really run a good race and get redemption. Two back, he ran the James W. Murphy at Pimlico, one mile on the 21st of May. First off the refreshing, his seasonal reappearance, he finished second by a neck. He stalked, he had the lead, but then Joe got to him late. He just couldn't keep up. But he ran his heart out there first to start off the bench, first start Lasix. And then prior to that, he ran the Qatar Golden Mile at Del Mar, one mile on the 5th of November. He finished seven by four lengths. He had a very wide trip from a very wide post drop. He moved a little bit late, but it wasn't anything spectacular. And then the Laurel Futurity last year at Laurel, mile 16th on the 2nd of October, winning by three and one quarter lengths. He, you know, he, he closed up well to get the job done. Coming here today, I'm going to give him a shot at nine to two. I think you also have to give a shot to the seven horse double clutch. George Arnold trains when Manny Franco gets the mount. Most recently in the Manilia at Belmont over the mile trip on the 4th of July. He finished second by two and three quarter lengths. He didn't break well. Was stupidly wide but was really closing up well late. Not a bad race from there. Uh, and then in April in a main special weight Keeneland over the mile he won by two and a quarter lengths and basically he got the clear running trip to a win there. Um, and then his debut going a mile at uh, Goldstrom uh, on the turf course in main special weight. He finished third by one quarter lengths. He had a stupidly troubled trip for him to get third at 58 to 1, I thought that was a good, good race for them, him there. Coming here at 5 to 1, I'll definitely use him in the late pick four. But to recount my selection for the eighth from Saratoga, it's the National Museum of Racing Hall of Fame stakes. Let's take the six horse ready to perform. Give kudos to the seven horse double clutch. Six seven four one super. Let's go six seven in your multi race. The ninth race from Saratoga. It is the Troy Stakes. It's a Grade Three event going for a purse of three hundred thousand dollars. Races for four year olds and upwards. We have a field of seven horses going to the Melon Turf Course. The distance of ground of eleven hundred meters, or the distance of ground of five and a half furlongs on the Saratoga Melon Turf Course. Eleven hundred meters, five and one half furlongs. My top selection here in the Troy, I'm going to go with the number five horse, Golden Pow. Let's go five, six, three, four in the Superfecta. Five, six, three, four, Super. Top selection of five horse, Golden Pow. Four year old by Uncle Mo. Wesley Ward trains. I ride twos junior gets the mount. The horse's most recent out came the King Stand at Royal Ascot. Five frongs fast ground the 14th of June. He finished 16th by 19 and three quarter lengths and it basically didn't break. It was all I, I ride twos didn't give the horse the best ride that day. Um, you know, I, I don't like blaming the jockey, but that day he didn't break. He wasn't concentrating on the break, and he just really, you know, was quarter horse day after that, and he, he just didn't qu keep up. It wasn't his day to win. Come back to Saratoga, where he likes running in the past. I think it's in a better spot for him to win, and it wouldn't surprise me if he wires the field today. Two back around the Shaker Town of Keeneland, five and a half for with 9th of April. He won by four and three quarter lengths and broke on top, set the pace well, earning one tempire. That was a quite impressive run from there, first off the bench. And then last year's Brewers Cup turf sprint to Del Mar, five for long, six in November, went in by one quarter lengths, had a clean trip from the inside, and then he just kept going. Won the Woodford before that at Keeneland. Um, you know, they took him last summer to run in the Wooden Bass uh, in the, in the um, Nunthrope at York, where he finished seventh again. He just really couldn't keep up there. Um, his worst race has actually come in the UK. Um, his race is stateside, have been very good. He actually won the quick haul over this ground to, uh, last season and won the uh, Skidmore here in the summer of 2020 very, very nicely on the front end. You know, he's always been a heavy, heavy favorite. Uh, you know, he's going to be another heavy favorite today at 50 cents a dollar. You know, it wouldn't surprise me, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if he wins easily. 
if there's a bit of a upsetter, it wouldn't surprise me if the six horse True Valor gets it. I do like his third place finish into Jayapur, where he was setting the pace. He just missed late, but he ran his heart out behind oh, with Cossack Creed there. And then off the bench in the King Leatherberry at Laurel of the five and a half. He won by a half length. A very good run. I would like him to see him come from a stalking position today. I don't think he's as fast as Golden Pow, but if, if Golden Pow just kind of hits the wall late, I think this horse could pick up the pieces. At 8 to 1, I'll use him on the multi race, but um, Golden Pow looks very hard to beat on paper. But to recount, my selection for the Knights from Saratoga. It is the Troy Stakes. Let's take the five horse Golden Pal. Give kudos to the six horse True Valor. Five, six, three, four, super. Five, six in your multi race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5. Good luck, everybody.